Hi guys, uh, just a quick video to show people how to convert a Phantom 1 with the upgrade board to have a CAN bus port. Uh, this isn't my method, um, this was found actually on a website called sarahworth.com uh, I'll put a post um, uh, on, in the comments so you can go to that. Uh, there isn't a video on that so I thought I'd do a quick one here, I think it's uh, someone not entirely sure what country they're from but anyway fantastic little mod that they've come up with um, basically what we're doing is we've just got to do four solder points um, and that will actually give us four wires that can be used for a CAN bus port on the uh, on the upgrade board so the wires that we're going to do this here this little plug is the X3 port that goes into the NASA so you literally just unplug the X3 port now you'll see what's happened here. There's some protective gum over all of this section here. Now you have to kind of get as much off from the brown and the red wire as you possibly can because we're going to have to solder two wires, one onto each one of these. Um, so that's, that's, the, um, that's two connections that you've got to make. The next connections, which I will just try and adjust the focus ever so slightly. The next two connections are the two little gold plates. One is there, and then you'll see there's a little um, PCB module um, separating it, and the one just past that. So those two gold plates there. So this one and this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a little tiny little solder joint onto both of those and then we're going to connect again two wires to that and that gives us the four wires that make up a, um, a CAN bus port so a little bit difficult to show you the soldering um, with the camera so I'll probably do that with still photos in this video but um, but that's literally it, all you've got to do is that and then you've just got to create a plug um, for your CAN bus port now a CAN bus port plug normally looks like this and actually all that is I'll just move that so it's a bit more in focus is pretty much four connectors just general crimp connectors inside a plug so there's not any difference really between that or say a servo plug it just needs to be a four pin um, kind of a header plug is what it is basically so that's all we got to connect we've just got to make a way of, of creating a, um, a female version of this these are actually or sorry male version these are actually female holes inside this um, plug so we just got to get four pins that will actually pop into them um, a similar sort of connection um, I'm actually using on this something like that would be perfect so that's the kind of thing that we're uh, we're going to be aiming to do um, so yeah so anyway like I say I'll probably use photos for the actual soldering but that is literally the fundamentals it is the X3 port and it is the brown wire which is the ground wire from the X3 port you've then got the red wire that is a regulated voltage that is not 12 volts um, and then it's these two little gold spots just to the side of each other separated by a tiny little module there um, so yeah so we'll do that and um, we'll get it connected
Right, so that's uh, the photos of the installation. I'm sorry I couldn't get any decent video of the actual soldering. It was just uh, a bit of an angle I couldn't really get to um, and I'd end up getting my hand in the way of it anyway. So we now have a Phantom 1. Uh, this does look like a Phantom 2 because if you've seen any of my other videos actually what I've done is I've got the Phantom 1 inside a Phantom 2 shell. Check out my other videos if you want to see how you go about doing that, very easy to do. Um, we now have our little CAN bus plug uh, all soldered together. So obviously now what we want to do is check it. So the way I'm going to do this, rather than using IOSD and having to rig all of that up, I've got the DJI BTU unit. I'm just going to plug that in. And obviously we need to make sure that the connections go the right way round. Okay. Right, we're going to do that and we're going to power it on. And once that's done, we'll look at the iPhone and see whether we can see the Phantom. So no smoke, immediately a good sign. We've also got, I don't know if you can see that, but we have a green light on the BTU unit, which is promising. Okay, so now let's get this in shot. So, here we have, this is the NASA Assistant. Uh, no DJI Bluetooth device has been found, so let's retry. And look at that. It has found a new controller, which I now have to set up. and all connection is okay. So I'm going to set this up now. But that is proof that you can have a CAN bus port on the upgrade board of a Phantom 1. Um, hopefully that's uh, all good for everyone. If you've got any questions, post some, um, post some answers. Also the, uh, the photos, everything, much more detail about this video uh, and the write-up on how I've done the Phantom 1 into a Phantom 2 conversion um, and how I've set this all up. Uh, that's all going to be on my blog, so check out my blog, RC Group's blog, and the uh, the link will be below. Thank you.